body will make every effort to snap itself back into its previous shape if you turn your head quickly to test the premise. So why come together to speak of the unspeakable, grasp the ungraspable? I'll tell you at the end. For now, be welcome. Talk amongst yourselves. The rules, guidelines, really. Treat the space as you pass through as you would want your space to be treated. Expect some splattering, a bit of dirt, for things to be other than they seem. Questions may be answered by questions. If you're uncomfortable, remember your sense of humor. I oh, hope that's not my phone. I think it is. Oh, shit. <laughs> you can just let it ring. I'll ignore it if you will. I, I meant to turn it off. Um, we'll go to voicemail in a minute. If you're uncomfortable, remember your sense of humor. That's actually written here. And as Blake, a seer of things, said, he who desires but acts not breeds pestilence. And just so you know, this is in sections, but the individual sections don't have titles, so I'm just going to kind of blaze through here. I've also been writing sonnets, so I then this is the sonnet version of, of the initial convocation. My dearest readers, come into this house. I don't say mine, for in the time we spend among these rooms and things, I can't espouse a thee attached to space, for time upends what mind conceives as real. It's fresh, then goes to overthought, or clouded space, or dark unnumbered forms as memories transposed from thing to no thing, launched upon the bark that sails the sea of you, the storms and calms where madeleines, three trees, spear through your breast. 